Hi everyone, this is our Ashitva update. Now, this is the best specimen yet because uh, this is the oldest Ashitva that we have and it's flowering and it's also seeding. So this is really exciting because it's being modified to um, Perth weather. So this condition here. And um, I'll show you, I'm not sure whether you can see it, but these are all the flowers that are there. It's taller than me. <laughs> um, the thing about a sheet of is that the, the seed are not very viable once it's ready for harvest and then the planting time and the stratification. Um, it's very hard to germinate from seed. That's what I've found because the seed we bought was online and then by the time it gets sent over here and the period where they harvest the seed, we don't really know. Um, so once you have your own established plant and it starts to seed, it's already modified the condition that it's grown. So I know that um, Japanese Ashitaba is from Okinawa, so it's suitable for that climate there. But here it gets really, really hot and dry during the summertime, so we're talking about extreme here, and it can get quite cold, and we get a bit of frost every now and then, um, but it survived, and now we're seeding, and um, of course we're gonna harvest some, and uh, once it's ready, because so, it's still, it's still quite young. Like, I'll show you a photo. Uh, a photo and a closer uh, look at the seed and what it looks like and I've never seen it before and uh, it's really exciting so this is one of them one tree there's one over here that's also seeding so this right here is the second one And I've grown it. I've grown these under shade. Um, and even though it's under shade, it does get really burned by the sun. Okay. And over here. These are the start of the flowering. It's not very focused, but... They're beautiful. So, the one behind there, they are more ready for harvesting. Maybe a little bit drier but these will be the one these are still quite quite young okay and this is the other ashita bar that unplanted here and she did an update on um, so as you can see I mean it's not very agreeable with the the hot summer but it's still surviving definitely you really need to put it under shade and double shade if you need to if you live in a really hot climate because they like cooler climate cooler climate so that's our ashita, Japanese ashita button flower in season <laughs> anyway um, take care of yourself I'll see you next time bye